I decided to go by foot and public transport to head to the Bronte country. Yes, Haworth, here I come. Dear gentle reader, we're off on an epic journey today. So first of all, this little one I'm going to inspire by picking up a copy of Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights in Wakefield Library. Now, sadly, so many young women today don't realise the impact the Brontes had on literature and women's rights and also how many things are shaped today thanks to their work and their passions. So I thought I'd start them young whilst the oldest ones are off wanting to search out the latest beauty products. Next stop, Wakefield Westgate Station, where I bought a ticket for just over 12 quid return. As you can see behind me is the depths of Wakefield Prison, aka Monster Mansion. That actually lies a very sad story of the women who used to be put there back, back in the day of the days of the Mulberry Bush, um, it was believed that a lot of women had mental health problems and I'm sure many prisoners still do today as a result of the system but also prior to that but also women who hadn't been married and were single mothers there was all sorts of people who were wrongly chastised here in Wakefield anyway let's get the train a quick stop in Leeds and then I changed trains first stop Keithley or is it Keighley? Anyway, we're off to get the Bronte bus. As it was a short walk to Keithley bus station, I did get a very scenic view of some of the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway, as well as Keithley Town Centre. Then it was all aboard the Bronte bus. For £2, every 20 minutes, you can get to the Bronte country. Luckily, I jumped on one that runs hourly. And while the bus is plastered in the history of the Brontes, the bus itself is really modern. They were actually introduced in 2015. The route from Keighley to Hebden Bridge rebranded as the Bronte buses. Honestly, the bus ride itself was a bit of a tourist sensation, especially if you're fans of the Brontes. Now, I know there's a lot of faults with public transport, but this is what I love. We've jumped on Bronte bus. We got to see some of Keithley and Worth Valley Railway, although it's currently undergoing some refurbishment work. And then now we're here at Howarth Station. We went past the Bronte restaurant, and now we're just about to discover the old post office. So I think the bus driver showed us an old post no office, not the old post office. So now it's a steep walk up over Railway Bridge, aka the Bronte Bridge. Um, and we're off, but it's nice because when you walk, you also get to see. The Worth Valley Railway is just phenomenal. I like to think I'm quite fit, but she wasn't joking when that lovely lady told me where to go and it was steep. We'd reached the top and it was well worth the journey because, wow, the main street is so picturesque. And to be honest, it looks idyllic and it looks how you imagine a scene to be in Wuthering Heights. However, in our next video, we discover more about the Brontes and the real situation of what Howith was like back then when these legendary sisters were writing their own novels.